ion dipole interactions so the water molecules form these ion dipole interactions with 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 the uh, with the ions on the surface of the lattice and because of this because the ions have start ions on the surface have started forming bonds with water molecules they can no longer form bonds with the ions inside the lattice and that's why the ions inside the lattice get weakened they get replaced actually by the ion dipole interactions and as this happens these ions go into solution they go into solution individually so they go into solution as individual ions now when they are in solution as individual ions you can you can see that uh, so they will be surrounded by water molecules now the ions have so the, what i'm trying to say is that the ions have been split the, the lattice has been split open and now these individual ions are going into solution and that makes these ionic compounds very soluble so these ions go into solution and that makes ionic compounds very soluble okay so ionic compounds are generally very soluble in water okay now ionic com compounds do not conduct electricity in in solid state now this is because you can see that in solid state these ionic compounds have a lattice structure right they have a lattice structure in solid state so you know that a lattice structure is very orderly it's very packed so these ions even though they are charged they cannot move these ions even though they are charged they cannot move and you know that an ionic compound has zero overall charge the overall charge on an ionic compound is zero so these ions are not mobile they cannot move and the ionic compound has an overall overall charge of zero so therefore uh there there can be no conduct uh, there can be there can be no conductance of electricity they can the, the ionic compound cannot conduct electricity in the solid state because the ions are immobile however when the compound is molten so by molten i mean when i have heated when i have melted the compound when i have melted the compound i have basically broken the bonds between the ions and when i have broken the bonds between the ions i have actually um i have i have um i have separated them from each other i have separated them from each other and therefore now they can move and similarly when i add the ionic compound to water these ions go into solution individually so now that they are individual now that they are not packed together when they are in molten or in or or the, in solution these ions are mobile so when a when a voltage is applied a current can pass through because these ions become mobile in the molten or solution in, in when molten state or when they are present in solution so this is what you need to remember yeah now another property of ionic compounds which i have not mentioned over here but it's very important that uh, ionic compounds are quite hard and rigid now they are quite hard and rigid because what happens is that uh, when you they are like they are not malleable they are rigid like they will either break when you strike them or they will retain their structure now this is because for example when you hit a hammer on this ionic compound when you hit a hammer on the lattice the the ions will become disordered slightly and they will start repelling each other so they are they are quite brittle i should say not not rigid they are quite brittle they are they are, they are brittle the brittle is the right word they are brittle because when i hit them hard with a hammer what will happen is that the these ions in the lattice will become disordered and because they are becoming disordered what will happen is that some positive ions may come close to positive ions and some negative ions may come close to negative ions so this will result in repulsion between the ions and obviously when they are repelling each other they will try to move further apart and when they are trying to move further apart the structure breaks so ionic compounds can also be very brittle yeah remember that ionic compounds can be very brittle so uh and uh, so some good uses for ionic compounds so nacl is used as salt then magnesium oxide magnesium oxide because of the high melting point you know that the ionic bond is going to be very strong the ionic bond is going to be very strong so the the melting point uh, so, uh, so the melting point allows it to allows it to be used in furnaces it's used in furnaces because it doesn't melt very easily so it can withstand very high temperatures and therefore ma magnesium oxide is used in furnaces now 
another point you need to remember about uh, remember about ionic compounds is that the the larger the charge on the ions the stronger the bond